What's up guys and girls, my name is Super Rebel 1, 2, 3, first of all, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by, please do hit the subscribe button above, it will be much appreciated, and at the end of the video, if you guys enjoy it, please do leave a rating down below, a comment, and maybe add it to your favourites. So guys, let's jump straight into today's topic. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an analysis on the recent screenshots that Rockstar only released a couple of days ago. Now, I did actually show the screenshots a few days ago as well. And I did say I will be going in a more in-depth analysis because I, I just covered it roughly, I mean, saying what we can see. But so, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're just going to be literally going in-depth on what we can see within the screenshots. So, the first screenshot is, of course, of Franklin with a minigun. So overall, firstly, the minigun is definitely making a return in GTA 5, and I'm definitely sure it's going to be more realistic. As we can see off this screenshot, I mean, the graphics are looking more realistic than they did in the previous screenshots. I mean, this could go on to Rockstar delaying it. They have actually improved on the graphics, so the delay time wasn't exactly a bad thing to do. But Franklin is also wearing a bandana that happens to be green and a minigun that happens to be green. Now, first of all, this goes into weapon customization and character customization because, of course, Rockstar have confirmed we will be allowed to customize our weapons. And besides that, we will be able to customize our characters, which, in my opinion, is absolutely going to be insane. But why the color green? Now, I guess a lot of people have been saying that Franklin is kind of like the second CJ that did make an appearance in San Andreas. I mean, could this be true from wearing a green? bandana maybe this can relate relate to Grove Street as I will show you in the next screenshot but right now can this relate to Grove Street maybe Franklin being related to someone who was who happened to have been his um, Grove Street for instance Franklin could be related to CJ or Big Smoke or Ride off any one of those and I mean that would be pretty awesome to have in the story as well now next thing is actually the bullets coming out of the weapon I mean there's like a load of bullets just dropping out which is really detailed in my opinion and whether or not this will be in the game I mean I think Rockstar will actually add this feature because if we do go back to Grand Theft Auto Ballad of Gay Tony, Ivy, Lost and Damned I mean a few bullets did actually come out of the weapons however it wasn't exactly detailed as detailed should I say as it looks in this screenshot I mean we have a clear image on the actual bullets flying out and maybe we will, we will sorry actually see this these bullets should I say on the floor and then we do actually have a tree on fire now this could be a really awesome thing that Rockstar will add to the game where we can kind of damage the environment if you guys understand what I mean I mean maybe we can burn them buildings plants and so on now if we do actually relate this back to San Andreas where there was a mission where you had to take down this farmers like weed plants with that flame gun I mean maybe we could just do this and free roam randomly go around burning trees and of course for rocks are going down a more realistic path it will be more realistic so next screenshot like I was mentioning a few seconds ago about Grove Street but I'm actually going to talk about this in a few seconds first of all I just want to focus on Michael just in general now this screenshot actually does show a lot about Michael because I've said this in many videos before how Michael is kind of the the boss of both Trevor and Franklin because we always see him in suits and we see Franklin and Trevor in just kind of thuggish clothes I guess I mean Franklin is more dressly smart I guess you could say than Trevor is because Trevor's always in that dirty t-shirt whereas Franklin in the first screenshot like I showed you I mean he's wearing a shirt he's got a suitable like jeans and he's got a t-shirt underneath and then you get Trevor who's just always wearing that dirty t-shirt However, Michael always in a suit and I think he's actually wearing sunglasses in this video and he's leaning against what looks like to be for Buffalo that did make an appearance in Grand Theft Auto IV, Battle of the Gay Tony, Lost and Dan and basically just the recent GTAs. The Buffalo was kind of like the Dodge I guess. Now focusing on the bridge on the right hand side next to Michael. Now this actually does look like the bridge as I did actually get a comment on the other video that was saying that it looks like the bridge that made an appearance in Grove Street because we did have that bridge that just kind of went over Grove Street I guess you could say and then there was like another way to go through this is so maybe this is actually the bridge of Grove Street and then where this vehicle is it can be where all the bushes were I guess or maybe where um, Ryder's house was just next to there and of course they've spaced it out a bit I mean that would be pretty awesome I guess because like I said we have seen a lot of references towards Grove Street such as the first green shot wearing a green bandana and now the bridge. So whether or not Grove Street will make a return I mean could Rockstar maybe add this because it is of course based in Los Santos and maybe this could be an easter egg finding Grove Street. But either way guys just the weather in general as well I mean we got a cloudy situation here 
and not many clouds actually appeared in GTA IV. In fact, none. I mean, I mean, I never came across clouds. So seeing this, this actually does go into the whole weather situation. Of course, we've got shadows, we've got the buildings, and it is looking like a really detailed screenshot that shows a lot about both protagonists. So next screenshot is of Trevor, and Trevor is not doing anything crazy for once. I mean, in the previous screenshots, we have seen Rockstar make Trevor look like a really crazy guy. I mean, we've seen him with like flamethrowers in the trailer, with guns. He's doing all sorts, but now he's just on a bike with a helmet on, and that's quite surprising, actually. I mean, he just, he's a crazy guy, like I said a few seconds ago. Why would he be wearing a helmet? I mean, Rockstar kind of, like, gave a mixed message here, I guess you could say, because like it, we have seen Franklin with a minigun, whereas we would have expected to be seeing Trevor with the minigun, with the bandana on, and maybe Franklin on the bike. But it's a totally opposite, and I like what Rockstar have done here, because... In previous screenshots and trailers, Rockstar have showed Franklin to be a really calm, relaxed type of guy in a way. Whereas now we have just seen the t complete different side of Franklin. I mean, we've seen him with a minigun, shooting a load of thing, an exploded vehicle in the back, a tree on fire, and then we get a calm Trevor for once. But he's not exactly done something calm because he's got a load of police in the back. Now, looking at the police car, we do have police jeeps which did, which did make an appearance in GTA San Andreas. However, we do actually have someone standing on like the edge. So, rather than policemen actually shooting out the window, maybe it can be like Mafia 2 where they actually came out the window. Or like, like in this scenario, they actually stand outside of the vehicle. Because if we do look in the further, further vehicles, we got another two people doing the same kind of thing. Now, this is actually in the desert as we can see by the ground. We got the nice hills in the back. So, it is looking pretty awesome. And for once, Trevor's shirt is actually clean. <laughs> Which is amazing. But guys, that's it for today's analysis video on the new screenshots. But there will be, of course, more episodes. We're going to be going through all the screenshots. And then overall, towards the end, we're just going to look at all of them once again and choose the best screenshot. But either way, that's it for today's video, guys. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Please do hit the subscribe button above. It will be much appreciated. For more Grand Theft Auto 5 news, information, ideas, etc, etc. And if you are watching this on Yelsh, thank you for stopping by. Please do go head over and check out my channel. It will be really appreciated. If you like what you see, please do hit the subscribe button. Because I am, of course, a GTA channel. I do upload more or less every day. And of course, if you are already, already one of those amazing slash awesome slash beautiful people who already subscribed to me, Thank you for stopping by on yet another video, but guys, a little question before I do end this. Would you like to see Grove Street make an appearance, should I say, sorry, in Grand Theft Auto 5? And do you think Rockstar could actually add this? Once again, seeing the bridge and actually seeing Franklin in a bandana, I mean, what are the chances? But guys, once again, hope you enjoyed, but until next video, adios amigos.